Good afternoon and welcome again to Monday Musical Meditation. Since it is 12 o'clock noon, let us begin by praying the Angelus together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and, and she, she conceived, conceived by, by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Hail, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. And let us pray together. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May is the month of Mary. It is a century-old custom for Catholics to dedicate the month of May to the Blessed Virgin Mary. The month of May is always part of the Easter season, the 50 days we celebrate in, lit in liturgy the resurrection of our Lord, a time also of awaiting the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. The celebration of May as a Marian month fits well with the liturgical celebrations of Easter and Pentecost as we recall Mary's great joy in her son's victory over death, as well as her presence with the apostles in the upper room, prayfully awaiting the descent of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. So today I invite you to pray with Mary during this Marian month. Let us especially commend to her prayers for life, marriage, religious, and liberty. Let us all place ourselves in the school of Mary to learn from her how to love God more fervently and to love one another as her Son has loved us. May the Blessed Virgin Mary intercede for us and draw us closer to Christ, her Son. Today we'd like to welcome our guest cantor, Bailey Hansen, and thank her for sharing her time and talent with us, and our camera person and director, Sarah Stitchard, for also sharing her time and talents with us. The Blessed Virgin Mary, as the mother of the church, is the guide and inspiration of everyone who seeks to be a servant of her son, Jesus. Hail Holy Queen, originally known by its Latin name, Salve Regina, is recited at the end of every rosary, and it is also used in night prayers. It dates back to the 11th century and still is sung today as a hymn and a beautiful chant. So we invite you now to please sing with us, Hail, Holy Queen. Queen and throne above, oh, 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 oh
the famous Greek musician, St. John of Damascus, originally wrote the hymn, The Day of Resurrection. And the famous translator, John Neal, put the hymn setting in English as we sing it today. Stanza one reminds us that Easter is the second Passover. The first describes the suffering of Christ in 1 Corinthians, and the words from death to eternal life is for those being baptized during the Easter vigil those who are buried and rise in Christ in the baptized waters. Stanza two introduces the resurrection light, the blazing symbol of life over conquered death and goodness overcoming evil. John Damascus concludes the hymn in eternal praise. Now, may we never forget the day of resurrection. Gospel of John chapter 15 verses 1 through 8 Jesus says to his disciples I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower he takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit and every one that dies he prunes so that it bears more fruit the father is the vine grower Christ is the vine the disciples are the branches and those who do not abide in Christ are the useless branches. Remain in me as I remain in you. Apart from Jesus, you can do nothing. Be joined to the, excuse me, be joined to the vine, abide in the vine, and you will bear much fruit. Where's, where's the church here? The fruitful church is the branch that the vine grower prunes, but the unfaithful church is the branch that the vine grower removes and throws in the fire. Now listen to, we have been told.
Psalm 103 is a psalm of David. Henry Light and John Gose took this psalm and used the message and produced a hymn praising God with many alleluias. This hymn was used at the royal wedding of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip in 1947. Even though Psalm 103 begins with, Bless the Lord, O my soul, this translation begins with, Praise the Lord, O my soul. The hymn has a sense of jubilation, yet emphasizes the protective care of God. Praise with us, the God of grace, as we hear, Praise my soul, the King of heaven. is a newer hymn written in 2012 by Trevor Thompson, who goes back to today's Gospel of John, describing the story of the vine and the branches. Again we hear of the vine. The vine is the source of life for the branches. Without the vine, no fruit will ever result. Without Christ, there is no spiritual life. Again, the branches are the disciples. If we request the presence in us each day and obey him in faith, we will, by his power, produce astonishing spiritual growth. Now, Trevor Thompson's song, Vine and Branches.
Our next hymn is also for the wonderful time of Eastertide. Sing with all the saints in glory. It originally appeared in 1873. Perhaps one of the reasons for the great popularity of this hymn can be traced to the very recognizable tune written by Ludwig von Beethoven, called the Hymn to Joy. This hymn is one of great praise. The whole setting of the text is for praising God and all the glories he has promised us in heaven above. The love that God displays for us is never ceasing and never failing, and we will live to see it in our lives each and every day. And the hymn tells of the promises that Christ has given us through his death on a cross. Now the familiar Easter hymn, Sing with all the saints in glory. Just 
We'd like to again thank our guest Cantor Bailey Hansen for sharing her time and talent with us and of course our famous Sarah Stitchard, our photographer and producer for also sharing her time and talent with us. From today's gospel lesson of the vine and the branches, we have learned that Jesus is the true vine. We are the branches. We are the disciples. Jesus uses the relationship of branches to the vine to illustrate our relationship to him. The key to effective Christian living and powerful fruit producing lives is not how much of the Bible you know or how long you pray or what church you go to. The key to being used greatly by God is abiding in Christ. The secret to a fruitful life is getting as much of his word into your lives and hearts and minds as possible. This brings us full circle back to the importance of bearing fruit by abiding, and that is all connected with being a disciple of Christ. And now let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. We thank you, gracious God, for Jesus Christ, the true vine, with his roots eternally grounded in you. We rejoice by grace. We have been gratified to him to be branches on a vine which bears the loveliest of all the fruits of the earth. Yet we confess that all is not well with the way we live. Please forgive us for the occasions when we have been the ones to introduce disease into the vine. Forgive us for neglecting to draw deeply into the sap of life for our tendency to wonder instead of growing on the framework that you provide. Have mercy on us. Please do not lose patience with us or sever us completely from the vine. Rather, heal our diseases, prune our unfruitful branches. May we regain, remain in Christ and he in us through the changing seasons of life. Let us delight in bearing the fruits of love which are our true purpose and joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen.